Hello, stranger. Hello, welcome back to the Ryan and Amy show. Da, da, da. <laughs> what? what? Tell us what you've been doing because we literally have like. Yeah. Been so we've not vlogged for a anyone. while, but it's um, because we have moved to America, as you can see from the last vlog, and it's been pretty hectic. It's been absolutely crazy. A lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but it's been an enjoyable, ex enjoyable, an enjoyable <laughs> experience. I must say, it's been quite hard this Olympia prep so far. Not for any bad reason or um, any negative things on coming down or injury, anything like that. It's just such a change out here. And I, I knew it was going to be a change, but I didn't realise how much effect it have on my body. Four weeks into the Olympia prep, and it's the first prep I've ever, ever had to do this, where we've had to stop all cardio. We've had to mass my, uh, ramp up my calories, mass. We have to ramp up my calories yeah. uh, for three days solid. So all my carbs have doubled, doubled all my fats have doubled. Um, and he can't speak anymore. <laughs> and I'm overloading his calories, He's I can't even doubled, speak. Doubled, doubled his mass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eight weeks left, I'm gonna smash it. And I promise I'll be able to speak better <laughs> in the next one. <laughs> I don't think so, diet brain after this. <laughs> Uh, I'm training these puny little things, arms. And this? Yay! <laughs> Once Ryan gets off his phone. Yeah. Kind of... Which seems to be never nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> cardio so um, the reason for that is the heat out here is unbelievable and a lot hotter than I'm used to so uh, we're having to come when it's a lot cooler so it's either really early in the morning fasted or later in the evening when it's start to cool down um, we're favoring later in the evening because we've got more food in us and we can have a leisurely stroll to the beach here she is look fun in crime obviously this isn't great for when we're dieting Oh, both ways. So we've got one one side, one the other side. So what we got? Which one's first? We this one? We have Dunkin' Donuts. So we've got Dunkin' Donuts there. Yeah, that's dangerous. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite a well-known pizzeria. 
Anthony's Pizza in here, which uh, Amy's been eyeing up because she's a big pizza fan. So it looks like cheat day or post Olympia could be on the cards. <laughs> Giving you a quick update on where we're at in Olympia. So we're four, just over four weeks in, and yeah, everything has been drastically different out here. Uh, we're loving the environment and the way of life, and I couldn't be happier in that respect. Obviously, missing home and missing um, the family and friends and, and the comfort of being, yeah, of everything we've ever known back home. But We've took ourselves out of the comfort zone in order to keep progressing in life and obviously to try and get that Olympia title. And that is probably the sole reason I've done this, is to uh, give myself every chance of being Mr. Olympia one day. Training's on point and if any of you have been following me on my social media, um, I did have a niggling back injury before I came out here, which uh, I've not really highlighted too much because I don't like to be too negative on social media but I um, I was having a few problems and the first few weeks of this this prep was more nursing the injury and making sure I'm getting back to full fitness and ready to hit the latter part of the prep hard. I've got my training partner beside me here who is uh, keeping me at bay and is uh, calming me down when the male ego takes over and I start trying to lift silly weight or the form starts to, to go. So um, she's been good in that respect. And yeah, we've been hitting it hard together, haven't we? Yeah. First time she's getting involved in, in dieting and training. So uh, how are you finding it so far? Brutal. I think you're all mad. <laughs> no, I'm no, joking. But... I'm joking. Um, anyone that says it's easy, it's not. Yeah. Um, for somebody that's done it the first time ever, um, geez. it's good because I've got you there so yeah, you can but tell what... me when I'm being moody when I haven't had enough food <laughs> Which yeah, that, that's quite often lately. But <laughs> on the flip side of it, from, from my side, it's great to see Amy coming out of shell a lot more. She's becoming a lot more confident in herself because obviously she's seeing changes in her body. Um, she's starting to learn about the nutrition side, the food and the training, um, which is, is great for me, which is helping with my uh, Olympic ebook. <laughs> you can yeah. name all the exercises now. <laughs> I used to about bloody time. Say, hey, what's that exercise? <laughs> <laughs> that's not a dog, that's a rat. It's gone from a, a steady stroll to a power walk near enough chalk because Amy's shitting herself. And I've got to admit, it's quite scary. This probably doesn't give it justice, but the whole sky is lighting up with thunder and lightning. It's incredible. I've never seen anything like it. She's off. <laughs> And she needs a wee. And it's food time. Right guys, so as you can see, I'm very hot and sweaty, like I was saying about being out here in the heat. But uh, the walk got turned into what was? A scary affair. <laughs> and a very fast paced walk, which hence me sweating a lot more, uh, because of the thunderstorms. Obviously we're in hurricane season out here, which Amy knew nothing about. But uh, yeah, it's to be expected, and yeah, that, I don't know if the footage gives it justice, but it was unbelievable. It was quite scary actually, but it was uh, pretty cool. So after that mammoth walk, we have got, boom, big feed up. So we've got bison, sweet potato fries, white rice, white rice, and we've got spinach under there. So it's a lot of carbs, a lot of fats, a lot of protein. Um, and yeah, we're eight weeks out, so still eating, still eating a lot, and then, Check Amy's portion out. That is, um, these are courtesy of Nutrition Solutions. And we have a lemon pepper chicken. There's some rice there, not as much as Ryan's unfortunately. Some broccoli and I have pinched Ryan's asparagus which he did not want to eat earlier on. So waste not, want not, I have got it. I love asparagus. Yeah. 
So as you can see guys, yeah, a little plug for uh, my sponsors Nutrition Solutions out here. Um, they have helped me on my Arnold prep um, the last few weeks when I was on my Arnold prep and um, obviously once I moved out here for the Olympia. So big shout out to them, massive thank you. And last plug, if um, you are in the States and you want to order anything, check out the website. It's www.nutritionsolutionslifestyle.com and use my code Ryan10 for $10 off your order. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, it's time to eat. Hey guys, so it is Sunday now. We are three o'clock and we are en route to, where are we going? We're going training, but somewhere a bit different today. Where are we going? Yes, so to mark the seven week mark of the Olympia, we are um, off to Project Flex, the Dragon's Lair. Uh, Flex Lewis is a private gym, so, uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll see that I've trained out there a few times. Um, Dallas McCarver trains there, um, and obviously five times Mr. Olympia, Flex Lewis trains there. But uh, he's out of town, and we are nick the keys, and we're going to go and have a back session. So we're here at Project Flex, Dragon's Lair. Um, what a gym, what a gym. I cannot wait now, just been in a few minutes, I cannot wait to hit back. So uh, we're going to take you through a little back workout, but uh, as you can see, got a whole gym to ourselves, so uh, it's pretty spectacular. There he is. The man himself. There's one very cool shot. There are rest of the at that full press, so it's a good spot. What the temperature is like in here. So we're like six sets into the exercise, into the workout. Wrench. The heat is unbelievable. But weirdly, I like it. I really do like it. I'm drenched, which is not very attractive. But I'm definitely burning some fat in here. <laughs> Nice. Ryan Terry, he doesn't know the name of the exercise. Certain, certain things. Right, what is it? So this is an isolateral high raise row. <laughs> Have you row. just made that up? No, because it is a high row. But anyway, it's a back exercise, alright. Okay, <laughs> get to work. <laughs> Oh, I'll work for oh. it. I so lateral low row. It's a proper name, <laughs> not just one of Ryan's made up name.
So that's it guys, that is my back workout for today. Um, it was pretty brutal in this heat, wowza, but uh, I've got to admit, pretty awesome. So we're seven weeks out, um, I've had a bit of a refeed, tried to soften off slightly because we were coming in a bit too quick. Um, we're going to do a few poses just to see how we're filled up over these few days. Hello! Right, so as all of you know that we're well into my Olympia prep now and uh, it's been pretty full on, obviously getting settled in America and every day has been about training, eating, sleeping and all that jazz. Um, so we've not really had a chance to, to do much outside of training and getting settled. So, what day is it today? Or well, evening? <laughs> it's day night. It's a we made it a Tuesday night. I don't know if we somehow made date night Tuesday night. Yeah. It's quite nice actually after you've had the weekend and then you've got something to look forward to again quite quickly. But we are going to something called, I'm sure all the Americans will know this, um, I Pick Theatres, which is essentially a cinema for everyone back at home. Yeah. Um, but with a bit of a bit of a difference, it's very luxurious. Mm. Yeah. So it's so you've got like a waiter, yeah. uh, pillows, quilts, everything like that, and um, popcorn all brought to you. And We've gone all out. We've gone for yeah. the premium ones, which we're told recline right back like a bed. So yeah. Ryan will probably be asleep in about two minutes. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> that is very true. We are going to see, by the way, the new Planet of the Apes. <laughs> no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we're probably not going to film. I'll try and do a little bit, but if no, I get chucked out of the cinema. He's kicked out. I'm not, he's <laughs> on his pirating. own if he gets kicked out. We're going to pirate the new Planet of the Apes film. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I might want to just try and show you the, uh, the service. But if not, we'll see you after. Oh. So we've got this service back here. Yeah. He's got a feet up already, right? right? If you can believe that. Amy's all settled. <laughs> right, so that was cinema over. What an ordeal that was. This one here, crying her eyes out to Planet of the Apes. <laughs> um, but no, what an experience. Brilliant film though, yeah. isn't it? Great Absolutely film. Brilliant. Yeah, it was a bit sad towards the end, but uh, we knew it was coming. But um, yeah, great film. We got steak and asparagus. It sounds minging, but it was really well cooked. Actually, whilst we're eating, uh, whilst we're watching the, uh, the the film, so that was pretty epic. I've not really experienced anything like that before. And now we're just having a walk around Meisner Park. So this is just where we're living now. Proper amazing atmosphere. And I can't be, if you can hear the music in the background, that's an amphitheatre right at the end of this um, boulevard. And they play every night, they do like free music and free bands, and it's amazing, absolutely amazing. So we're very lucky to be here. Where are we going? We're in Miami. No. <laughs> yeah, we're going down to Miami. We're not in Miami yet. We've got like about 45 miles, I think. Shit, I need a petrol station, I missed it. <laughs> Can you go in there, that one? We're going to have a chill day, aren't we? Yeah, so we had the uh, pick last night and then it's a chill day today. So, uh, yeah, we're just switching off from prep and all that jazz and we're just going to go and see what's on our doorstep, which is South Beach. Mm -hmm. I've been there a few times. Yeah. You haven't, have you? So, uh, no. yeah, we're going to go and experience it all. Hello. Hello. Are we stressing a bit? We were stressing before because I needed I needed a wing and I couldn't find a toilet. <laughs> I couldn't find a toilet. We ended up having to kick off in Starbucks for the code. <laughs> to buy some water to go to the toilet. But
Look at the size of that salad. <laughs> hey, help. We are going to leave it here, I think, in Miami this week. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Um, the next vlog will be in the UK. Uh, we're heading back to the UK next week. Uh, I've got to check in with my coach. We are six weeks out from the so it's halfway. Hopefully, he's going to save me on the track. So lap this up right now.